Hi Warham fam, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And, and it's fairy loot Yay. for uh, uh, October 2023. <laughs> it is. I've just realised something. Right, I've got my scissors ready, people. Yeah. I've got my hamster hidden. I will yeah. show him to you. Namely, only literally because I'm going to have to move him because I'm going to need the box down here down by there. my feet. Yeah. So we're going to give you a quick sneak peek. Can you see him? So it's the Vic. He is. He's all right. He's, he's just sleeping. He's, sleeping. he's got. He's he's not doing a lot a lot else at the moment. He's he's sleeping, he eating. He, he runs for a little bit and then he, he then goes, he's out. He he, um, he is two two years two months. He's he's geriatric. Yeah. He's, him. So he, he's not doing a lot. He's. I don't want to put you back where I had you. Yeah. But ah, daddy's got somewhere to put you. Good good. Yeah, yeah. Um. Now the reason he's in that is actually it used. It's clean, yeah. but it, it used to oh, look like... hello, mate. <laughs> I might need to resettle him. Look, he see, he is all right. Everybody. He is, look, look, see, look, told you, he, he runs around every now and again. He, he wakes up, he has his bottle of water, um, and he's on to baby food now because he just hasn't got the strength. He's, he's very old, bless him. And... If you are going to use baby food, you want oh. to make sure that they haven't got anything in them like onions, mushrooms. Oh, there you go. Right. We'll onions grab him. or garlic. Chicken, Hoynes chicken roast dinners are the best, aren't they, mate? They're the ones you like best. Yeah. And it's given him strength and warmth back. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, so. It's a fairy loot. Yeah. So he's all right. He's, he's, he has lost weight. Yeah. As I said, we are feeding him up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he, he's kicking around. He's still, he's still going. Yeah. <laughs> but no, he just um, he spends a lot of his time with me, with TV. Yeah. And my hands will be like this, and I'll be going like this, or like this. <laughs> oh, he's gonna walk off. But yeah, you see. He has his dinner with my mum, don't you? Yeah. Oh, okay. right. Let's cover you over in there, and you yeah. should dope off. All right. I've opened the front, so or I'm, I'm done the front, so it's it should come stiff, out. Though, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't opened it. I only, I only cut the tape. Yeah, it's stiff. Trust me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right. Before I open this, did you go through the prices, or did we get victim? Uh, can't remember. Pro works out. It's down in the description down there. It works out about 36, 37 quid, I think. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's a pro, I think it's £29 plus delivery plus fat. So it's, <laughs> yeah. Right, so. Oh. What have we got? You see? Nothing, nothing, nothing. An empty box. Nothing at all. Mm. Right. Oh, blimey, this is heavy. And this is why I didn't want to put it on top of him. Yeah. Right, so. Either nice the pipe. Yeah. Right. Oh, that feels peculiar. I'll get that out. Mm. It doesn't look peculiar, it just feels no. it. It's a velvet bag with fairy loot on it, which is quite nice. It's got something written on the side, but it tells you what it is there. Oh, that's really, really handy. Drink. Drink me. Drink me. Oh, the measuring spoons. Eat me. Nope, no. I don't think so anyway. Food bags? Yes, I, uh, food clips. Oh, there's four of them. Hang on. Um, right, so you get another... Right, so you get two eat me's, and I'll show you the... And two drink me's. And two drink, drink me's, so... Oh. And what I believe they are... Yeah, I'll tell you on the... Bit of card that's on the side. Yes, I know, but yeah, there they are. Yeah, so if you've got a food bag that's open, or I don't know, a packet of jelly babies, which pops in my head because I have no idea because I don't actually like jelly babies very much. Huh. Um, but yeah, if you do that and then you just clip it across, clip it across, and it, and it seals, so you just 
you know, pull down on the bit. Um, I'll just hold them up this way, way as well so you can see. So you've got potion, like a potion and drink me and a cupcake for eat me. Yeah. I've got to say, I love these. Um, Obviously being spy wireless and one Yeah, line. bag clips. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I've got to say, if I put two in there, I think actually four is quite generous. Yeah. And they are really, really cool. I like those. That's yeah. nice. Whoops. Well, that's something that's going to get you out of. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh. Something got, with mushrooms on it. It's got something with mushrooms on it. So let's have a look. Ooh. Oh my gosh! It's a spoon. It's, it's a, a mu it's a toadstool spoon. It's a toadstool spoon, and it's got happily ever after on it, and it's even got a flattened base, so it holds up. <laughs> now I won't be using this for his baby food. Those actually those. Do you remember the eggs you could get around Easter in the purple little? containers and you've got little purple plastic spoons a bit like baby spoons only a little bit deeper they're mm. absolutely ideal for hamsters yeah. but yeah that is i've got to say that is got to be the most beautiful spoon i've ever owned yeah i mean you know you had people over you'd want to just casually pull it out and say, yeah would you like sugar <laughs> look at my poon <laughs> look at the poon look at the poon look at the poon <laughs> um, by people I mean it's only actually that my mum and my mother-in-law that come round here as a rule and neither of them take sugar in tea full stop no. they don't even take sweetness no. so you know happily ever after spoon and it really is it's beautiful that is absolutely stunning I'm going to put the things to the back so we've got two yeah. that are quite fancy you know mm. fantasy mm. right okay so we have got rapunzel mm -hmm. is that the that's the cheat sheet that is the cheat sheet so, so i can tell you that this month is enchanted forest that that to be honest isn't a surprise right, this was Mushroom spoon. Yep. Designed by Blanket Design. The ceramic mushroom spoon is the perfect addition to your curated cottage core kitchen. Use it to manifest your own happily ever after. And bag clips. Designed by Blanket Design again. These food clips are inspired by Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll and are perfect for keeping your reading snacks fresh. Mmm. I've got to say, we've had two items out, both of which will be used, even if that's just used for decoration, because come on, that is just stunning. Um, I may use that to get ingredients out for my yeah. potion bits anyway. Mm. But yeah, it's not something to have your yoghurt in the morning with, is it really? <clears throat> right. Ooh. Right. Oh, look at the shine on that. the shimmer on that. Oh. Some nice silver foiling for a change. Well, it's not. It's like a, it's like a rainbow effect. It is, isn't it? Yeah. That is beautiful. I mean, really stunning. What is it? We ask ourselves. Oh, it's a photo album. It's a photo album. It's a big photo album as well, actually. <laughs> that is too cool. That really is nice. Photo album designed by. Warwicker Art. Uh, store, ideal for storing your art prints. This album will make a striking uh, addition to any shelf. A holographic foil touch adds an extra sprinkle of magic. It really is something quite beautiful. Mm. Um, and so the size it is, as Darren said, it's actually pretty cool. And the art prints, I actually really love that idea. Um... Yeah, no, that is stunning. I love that. Right. Oh, so we've got another item. 
The Forest, Forest Grim Embroidery Kit. Ooh. This is designed by Forensics and Flowers. Create your own piece of enchanted forest with this embroidery kit. This design mirrors elements from our featured book cover. Right, okay. So, I mean, this isn't your bog standard. No, it's, it's a nice. That is a nice bit. Right, so let's have a look and see what you get in the envelope. Oh my. Right. So, instructions. you've got yourself some green material. We should have the and print on. That's yeah, it's got the print on it. Got, right, so if I just move this. Right, so you've got a wolf. Or is that a fox? No, it's a fox, isn't it, Slimo? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a fox. I'll show you the proper bit in All a minute. Right, yep. And um, then you've got the threads and that. Yep. This is very nicely done. Oh, it's got a moon as well. Yes, it is. So I can yeah. see that in the bit behind. That is there lovely. Now, that's uh, what it would look like. Hands up, hands up. I will admit, I am absolutely rubbish at embroidery. Um, <laughs> I, my stitching is good enough for the projects that I do, mm. but for some reason, I, I am rubbish when it comes to cross stitch and whatnot yeah. right guys so having a closer look i've changed my mind again and said it saying it's a wolf yeah but yeah um but to be honest um as i said i cannot i'm rubbish i've tried several times and it's just not my cup of tea which is probably just as well because let's face facts here I'd have half a ton of stitching yeah. bits to do as, as well. well. <laughs> um, so, as I've got um, my mum's birthday is coming up soon, I think she may have this as a little extra present, especially <sighs> since her arthritis has affected her knitting now. So, I think that is something she would like. Yeah. So, happy days. Yeah. Actually, if I put that away i should really keep that out so you yeah. guys can see what you it got the boxes up for it. even afterwards that's true yeah. that's probably you know but there you go <laughs> right so oh another item yeah emily what? wild overlays oh let's have a look overlay set designed by cyt draws slip these gorgeous overlay prints into your copy of Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett to make it even more magical. But it doesn't mention about that, so I'm guessing there's something they had in the past. I still, I do actually quite like those. Yeah. So you have got this one. Yeah. And I think what I'll do is move them. Yeah. So you can see each one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, over over other bits you can see through it. Yeah. yeah. I, so, I think these are actually quite nice. It's very unusual. Yeah. And there's the last one. Yeah. I mean, that's quite cute, isn't it? It's yeah. it's a little bit different. As Darren said, it's possibly one that we have Possibly something is a different one. Because it, um, it mentions about it, but there, it doesn't make mention about that thing at all. That's not even what the book is this month either. So, it's so like, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, but either way, it's still very nice. It is, yeah. Right. So, I'm just going to check. Right. I'm going to do these you have your tarot cards in there. first. Yeah. Go back to that. Right, so we have got the Four Moons Tarot. Yep. And the Three of Moons Tarot. Right. Uh, this tarot set features uh, Sophia as the Three of Moon cards and Constance as the Four of Moon cards. These characters are from Cinderella is Dead by Caelan Baron. And a beautiful illustrated by the Tarion, talented Roslyn Arts. Oh, 
and this is the back. Yeah. They're really lovely. They're nice sizes as well. Yeah. Um. I mean, I I don't know whether you'd end up with a full set in the end, but honestly, uh, probably, because, probably, you'd probably end up because, with more than a full set because they keep doing them each time, yeah. don't they? So. so, I mean, whether or not we will get one, because as Darren said, they do them each time. Yeah. We got ones from when we did it before. Yeah. <laughs> but right. there are obviously ones in between as well, so. So, we have got the book bag. Mm. You get a book bag every time with these. Yep. And each contains the art, a bookmark of the art. Yep. Oh, and I've a letter. Something in there. From the author. Usually. From the author, yeah. Right, okay, so. We have got a Rapunzel bookmark. Yep. The bookmark goes with the. The image from this one's one. <laughs> right. So we've got the image on that. Oh, I've already probably have the, yep. the letter. And on the back. this is Catherine Purdy. Yep. Uh I don't I think I'll hold it so you guys can pause and read. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So, so I'll just pop that over there. So you've um, got your right. fairy scoop bit. We'll come which, back to this. Yep. Because that's got all the good information in. Yep. Right. right this Ooh. is The Forest Rim. Once Upon a Dark Time by Catherine Purdy. Yep. Right. right. Our so, featured book of the month is Forest Grim by Catherine Purdy. It's Ooh. a spellbinding story where fairy tales come to life with dark and deadly twists. Look at that. Oh, nice. Your Fairy Loot exclusive edition has a, an exclusive cover, a reversible dust jacket, and foil on the hard cover, digital sprayed edges, top and bottom edge, and foiled artwork on the end papers. Right, now before we read anything and else... And a digital signature, and exclusive bonus content. Right, so let's, let's have a look before you carry on. Tell me again, Grandma, the story Grandma. of how I die. All right, so it is indeed reversible. Crikey, that's dark. Oh, yes. Then it is grim. Yes, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> the forest grim. Um, I'll tell you about her. This bit's about the yep, book. she was trained in classical acting. She studied in England and met her husband when they were cast opposite each other in a Shakespeare play. They now live in Utah with their children and a tiny dog. Catherine also writes songs on her guitar for each of her stories and shares them on her website. So uh -huh. if you guys want to check out the website or anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, so uh, let's have a look at the book. Yep. And then we'll see what it actually says it is, as it were. So, oh, look at that. I know. Isn't that stunning? I mean, that is something, and it? it really is. Yeah. Oh, look at the mushrooms. <laughs> that is so beautiful, though. Yeah. And we'll have a look. Oh. And yeah. then, of course, she's got her signature. Yeah. Um, books by Catherine Purdy. So there's the Brown, Bone, Bone Grace Duology. Yeah. And the Burning Glass series. Yeah. So. It says it's got extra content, so. Yes, bear with me a minute. I'm sorry, I haven't been able to do my nails, guys. Oh, I've been hampered. For Isabel and Ivy, who represent everything fierce and enchanting. Mm. So, hang on a minute. I am going to sit it's here and read his book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. Right, so first of all, the... Oh, and there's the image for that. Mm-hmm. The back. 
Right, so what we want to see... What the exclusive bit is. I don't know actually when there's a it shop could It could ride. just be it the... It could just be there's more in there. It could just be that, that bit. It could or, be. It doesn't... No, just prologue and so on. No, uh, so anyway, there is additional content. Yep. Right, so let's hear about this book. Right, so Once are you all sitting comfortably? The then I'll begin. Yep. Once upon a time, villagers would whisper their desires to the Book of Fortunes, and its pages would reveal how to obtain them. All was well until someone used the book for evil. Afterwards, the branches of the forest grim snatched the book away, and the village withered. The villagers tried to make amends with the forest, but every time someone crossed its border, they never returned. Despite, despite the warning from her fortune teller grandmother, Clara embarks on a, the journey into, dead, into the deadly forest to pre procure the Book of Fortunes. To reverse the curse and save her mother and village, Clara's friend Axel puts aside his longing for her to join the journey. The young travellers have to set their minds to defying fate and daring to accomplish what no one else has been able to before. Alas, the forest alive with dark, deadly twists on some of our most well-known fairy tales has a mind of its own. Um, right, and then it's got a spellbinding new fantasy from number one, New York Times best-selling author Catherine Purdy where fairy tales come to life with the dark and deadly twists. Mm. Actually, I've got to say, guys, that does sound pretty good. It does, yeah. Um, reading out to you is actually pretty good for me because I am what is known as a lazy reader and mm. I will jump and I Make know I words. do it. I know I do it. Yeah. And yeah. I have before had to go back to the start of a chapter again because... What I've read just can't be right. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Well, sort of fortune uh, that is, would be fortune book. Yes. Yeah. But I've got to say, I I am wrestling with this book. Right, <laughs> so that is our book. So, yep. if I move this forward so you guys can still see. Yep. Sort of. And it won't stand up. Yes, it will. Good. Once upon a time. Down, right. Down so down. now we find out the most interesting thing of all. Yep. What snack does she have? Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, first of all, I'm going to describe the Forest Grimm in five words. Not me, the author. Yep. Enchanting, romantic, haunting, dangerous and mysterious. Not bad. Mm. Um, some pretty good words there. Right. Important bit. Yeah. When you write, do you have any go-to snacks? Oh my God, does she? Yeah. Right. Are we ready? Baby Bell cheese. Mm. Cashews. Mm. Peanut butter. Mm. Oh, sorry. Peanut butter Oreos, that is. All right. Baby carrots. And most importantly, ooh. Dr. Pepper, Cherry Zero Sugar. Mm. I don't do Dr. Pepper, Cherry or otherwise. Mm. But, yeah. I mean, cashews, yes, I go with that. Um, but, yeah. I mean, that's that's a, that's a an interesting lot of bits, to be honest. Yeah. I bet <laughs> a keyboard's messy. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, ha, 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 ha. And there is going to be a sequel, guys. Yeah. But yeah, there's. Um, you also get details of new ex November releases. Yep. Uh, from different authors. Yep. And. Alchemy of Us. Alchemy of Us. You won't want to look at that because it might tell you some items from next yeah, month. Yeah, no, so <laughs> I will not. So I'll pass that straight to Darren. Yeah. Just a warning. <laughs> uh, 
Next one is Alchemy of Us. Agent Alchemel. Alchemel. <laughs> Alchemy. Alchemical, even. Ancient <laughs> alchemical magic has a way of weaving its embers into the world in the most petrifying ways. Dark magic always comes at a steep cost, but these transformations might amount to more than you bargained for. Are you willing to pay the price? From this box, you can expect a multi fandom Sarah Jane Mars item. Uh, an item we have never done before. Ooh. For our feature, for our feature book of the month, and uh, yep, yeah, I'm telling you that. <laughs> Do you know I'm looking at the the bottom of like the underneath bit of the mushroom, where between the stalk and the cap, and they've even got the little lines in. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see that, but they've even got the little lines in, like going, like a mushroom does. Sorry, I was playing with my mushroom poon. <laughs> but yes. Um, also, guys, I didn't just stick uh, Vic under the table. He is actually asleep, curled up in my T-shirt on my lap, I might add. <laughs> so, yeah. you know. I thought I'd better. Yeah. So what? What did you think of the, the item? Did you like them? God, did I? <laughs> There's, I mean, I, my my top three. Yeah. To be fair, it, are really easy. It's got to be the mushroom spoon. Yeah. The clips. Yeah. And the photo album. Yeah. Um, now I do love myself a, a wee kit, craft kit, as I said, but yeah. I know that how shocking I am. I mean, it just goes to show you how my mind worked was when yeah. I saw the picture on here, I was sort of like, oh, it's a fox with trees on its back, which admittedly sounds strange, but I went with it. And then on closer inspection, it hasn't got trees on its back. It no, just, that's, that's in the background. That's in the background. It's just because there's no separation there. Yeah. It looked like it was. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. If you look at the book. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a it's fox. fox. I know. With trees. Yeah, I know. I did notice that. Well, it's more, that probably is a fox there. It's got very little legs, so it's... I don't know. No, no, it's going to be a... That's going to be a wolf. That yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, it's not... It's not, yeah. you know... Well, it's forest. It's um, grim, plus, isn't it? It's brother's yeah. grim, isn't it? The bits that's of frog. right. <laughs> so, I've said my favourite three. What, what's yeah. your favourite three? My favourite three would be... The spoon. Yep. The book. Mm -hmm. Or the... the um, Photo album. Photo album. And the embroidery kit. I mean, I this is like really it's good. Nice, uh, it's very well, good. Least favourite one would be the overlays because we don't seem to have anything to do with them. <laughs> I still quite like them. I I think I think I'm going to go bookmark purely because um it's it's an all right design. Don't get me wrong. But bookmark doesn't count. It, bookmark is not one of the items. Oh, it's not one of the no, items. You I get can you get it every month. You get you get that and this. It's the same picture. Fair enough. That's well, a bit. Like that's that yeah, but that's a bit. Was telling you what it is. What well, in it's that Charlie case? Forest. I'm going to go with embroidery kit as being my least favourite, purely because I can't mm -hmm. use them. Yeah. Now, again, although yes, technically I'm going to get rid of it because I'm giving it to somebody or well, my mother, as I said. Um, yeah. But you know, because I haven't got actually a functional use out of it. Yeah. Although I suppose for reality, these are. You know, they're not the something that we're necessarily going to use, so I don't know. Yeah. Don't ask me. So, if you know what my least favourite is, well done, because you got there faster than I did. Now, I want to know from you guys, what, what you're, you know, does any of this tempt you? Are you overly jealous about my spoon? You can write in and say yes, because, come on, who wouldn't be jealous of my spoon? Um, it's, fine. Spoon. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's going to take quite a place somewhere. 
But yeah, I love that spoon. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let us know what you guys think because mm. we always love to hear from you. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe and yeah. ring that little bell. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Yeah. I would say give us one of them, but yeah, there isn't one. Yeah, there isn't one. No. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. So all that leaves me to say, my lovelies, is yep. Um, be different. I almost. <laughs> right, I'm going to do that one again. Yeah. All that leaves me to say, my lovelies, is be different. A very very, very unhoo hoo, and. and Mm. Oh, come on, baby. It's got to be Mushroom Poon.